So we have a bolt cutter like so. Almost snapped. See that? Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Rudy here with your reactivist. It may be a little bit uh, wind noisy. It's uh, quite a nice and a bustling day here in the Uriatimus headquarters, HQ. Um, so what we're gonna do right now, we are uh, hooking up the trailer here. This guy, the 7x14 utility trailer. And we are checking tire pressure and tread and like all around the tires and also we are attempting hopefully successfully we are attempting here on those uh, gorilla lifts as you can see the they have started to fray so we got some new cables and we also got the, the new um, wheels here because they have been dug in from that uh, cable so that's what we're gonna do check tires <coughs> and um, first we're gonna hook it up of course and pull it over to uh, closer to the shop there so we don't have to uh, haul the tools a gazillion miles efficiency is everything so I have my uh, nephew here he's visiting from Germany so he's gonna help me with that um, so we're gonna hook up the truck to the trailer and then we're gonna pull it over to the uh, uh, garage pad and that's happening right now so we had a little issue with the truck here the other day um, the uh, throttle control no the electronic throttle control unit light came on and um, what happened so we brought it in, we couldn't figure out what it was. No code reading on the uh, no code reading on the computer. So what the mechanic did, just clean around the, the battery terminal and that's uh, all, all that was needed. And now it's, she's charging again and running without flaw. 2008 Dodge or Ram 2500. Diesel Cummins, 6.7 liters. She drives and she pulls. All right, guys. So we are almost set up properly here. Just just have to do a little uh, manual adjustment. Some hand power, and then hooking her up. So we all hooked up. My nephew's gonna drive the truck here, drive it around, and then up and forward, so we can get over to the uh, garage there and uh, fiddle around with those cables. Let's see how. Let's see how he does. It's a little bit tight there to turn around, and he's just 19. So let's see if he can. Uh, can manage to it looks good all right we all set up for success here he loves to drive they don't have those big trucks in Germany so he likes driving that now while he's here now he's gotta back, back up here onto uh, this pad should be easy peasy but uh, as you know pulling a trailer pulling a trailer will require some practice so let's see how let's see how it does let's see how it does there we go Bit by bit, just stay on the concrete. Straight on. All right, keep going. Keep going. 
keep going. And he's good. We are starting here with our practice on checking the uh, air pressure and filling up obviously a little bit. Since we've been standing around for six months, doesn't get much uh, movement or use throughout the winter time here. So first time pulling out in the spring of 2022. We're spinning up to 50 PSI, 5.0, as per tire side wall. I don't know what you're gonna do. I don't know what the uh, typical recommended uh, tire pressure is on a 714 trailer. Um, I assume safe bet is side wall reading of, uh, in this case, 5.0. Pizai. Pound per square inch, that is, if you don't know. <laughs> Who doesn't know that? Anyways, the compressor's hauling in the howling in the background. How are we doing man? Doing good? Yes. Alright. All good? Yes, all good. Oh, well, one to go. Oh yeah. All right, perfect. That's what he said. <laughs> perfect. All right. So tires are all good. All right, we are changing the uh, cables here for the go Gorilla lift. As you can see, pretty badly frayed. And also the support rollers are worn in or worn out. So we're gonna take off the cable from the hook here, from the hanger. Which uh, which uh, ratchet do we have? Eleven sixteenth. Eleven sixteenth. Yes. All right. Just to keep track. Okay. What's next? Now we do here. Okay, we're gonna take off those little clips there. Take a little screwdriver to. Pop them over the uh, round bolt, or whatever that's called. One of those tasks where you can easily damage your skin if you get too close or if it snaps. So, all removed. Okay, there may be some, some tension on that, uh, on that spring. So I may want to release the pressure and then push it back. So it doesn't... We do it later. <laughs> okay. Now what's next? On those little rollers there up front, we remove the same pins. Again with the screwdriver, poke them over the that little round pin that holds the rollers in place. 
All right. Number two, because we got two rollers down there at the end. All right. Now that that is removed, you can remove those rollers here. Just work through that pin. Don't lose that little Uh, they're pretty worn in, so that's... Okay, you want, may want to show that to the camera, how worn out that is, and also the plastic thing. Okay, that's okay. basically like two... So, here we have it, so there's a ton of tension on that cable, and over time, show the other one. So one, so one roller has snapped in parts because there's so much tension from the cable wearing it out. So this is how it should look like. One piece, of course, and like no flat spots. Yeah. And this one is basically snapped in two, which is no good anymore, obviously. And that little pin there, look at this, guys. Uh, slow, keep it there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That little flat spot there or like big flat spot okay that's good so we have to replace that too obviously so now what we're gonna do is basically uh, remove that pin in the back make sure there's no tension on that uh, spring there Okay, and what we do now, we just pull out the whole cable until we see that spring coming out. So now, we have this guy here, and the uh, spring, so this hooks up there, and because this is kind of like a fix or repair situation, we need to figure out how to get this out of the spring assembly and because this is all basically in a very tight space and there's no way to get this big guy through all those springs uh, out so we have a bolt cutter like so Almost snapped. See that? You want to make sure you don't lose any parts. Take this guy first on the ground. So you don't. See. Dass du nicht verlierst. Yes. Always make sure you don't uh, displace or misplace any any parts you still need. When you put on the uh, uh, the new cable, so just put everything on the trailer there, and the bolt cut as well, so you don't fall over it. All right, guys. So now we have this little uh, hook where the cable wraps around the spring. So we need to pry this open, and then basically just slide it through that part of the spring there so this is kind of like one of those situations uh, if you're not cautious you can badly injure yourself it just takes a screwdriver and one one wrong move and the screwdriver is poking into your skin which is no good just pry it open that's how it works Twist it and twiggle it, and then try to pull it through that opening and the uh, spring assembly there. Kind of trial and error how much is needed. A little yep. bit of force.
Okay, we got it. We got it. All good. Pull it out. All we got right. it all done eventually. So now this is ready to be hooked up to the new uh, cable assembly. It actually is. We ordered this on Amazon. So you'll find this ready available. Like there's a few bunch of different kits out there. So sometimes you just get away with uh, ordering the, the cable on its own. We needed to uh, replace the plastic rollers there as well. So we ordered some of those guys too. Now what's different on this guy here, because it's quite hard, as you saw, when we removed it to basically put this guy here into the spring assembly. So that's why they came up with a solution of this little uh, thingy there. I don't, I don't know what the proper term is, uh, but all you need to do is like open that hook and then slide it into like the, uh, we have two like, yes. like, like an inner spring and the outer, outer spring, both of them, and just close that little bolt there again and you all set up. Now, because now you have added basically like an inch or two to the overall length, um, assuming the, the cable length is the same as the one you replaced. Um, so maybe adding an inch or, or like some extra length, your uh, hole that you drilled into your trailer gate may not be uh, correct anymore or like giving you a little bit too much slack because of the added length. So what we do now, better be, now we are skipping a few steps or we are racing. So what, what we had to do, always listen what I say. All right. So now we basically had to move back the, the whole uh, spring to the front here because it's gonna um, secure it over here and we needed that little push rod there to basically poke it through the uh, tubing there. That's what we just did. And then here we need that, uh, well, I guess we didn't poke it far enough. So it's kind of there. Yeah, there it is. See? So, now you just need the, that pin there to go through both of those springs again. Yeah, make sure you got the inner and outer spring lined up like so. And then pu push it back into where the uh, spring lines up with the hole of the bolt is. Need some patience and small hands for sure. Will help. Patience will help and small hands. Put the put the pin back in. So it's right over the Is it? Nope, not properly yet. It's still over like it needs to pop back like no. that yeah right. like so so this is all good and now to the front now we have to uh, put in the um, those rollers now there is more tension on the lower one so we ordered a metal roller kit and because the upper one is still all right we will reuse that from uh, the original uh, gorilla lift what you have to do is put in the upper one first otherwise if you do the lower one first you won't be able to get in the upper one so that's what you're going to do right now like put in the upper one first like so put in those um, pins so it can't escape
So next step up is roll number two. You're gonna hold this uh, cable up so it's easier to basically slide in the, the, the roll from below like so and you can see it's a metal one it's like cheap metal but it's still metal and we use that on the bottom because there's way more tension on the bottom roller than on the upper one and next step up is uh, put the pin through and secure it so we are all set to have a successful season without any incidents at least with a trailer gorilla lift set up there Putting the pin back in is a little bit finicky, so you've got to take your time and again, patience will be a virtue. It will be beneficial to have. And although gloves can be helpful for little things like that, maybe not really beneficial because they're like too thick to handle little tiny metal parts. All right. Okay, we got those little pins back on the rollers. And the cable is aligned with a little slot in there in the rollers. And next step up is here. We're going to try. Again, I mentioned the uh, potential difference in length from the original to this uh, replacement cable. So we're going to try utilizing that uh, upper hole here first hoping we don't have uh, too much slack maybe they uh, adjusted the length with the added uh, bolt they had that we uh, put into the spring assembly there so now we have this bolt here that goes into the trailer uh, gate frame and so 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 what you want to do is basically have one of those washers here so it can slide over or above and then put the cable over the bolt all the way to the side then have your next uh, nut going in there basically all the way over to this point here where it can't go any further and to speed it up you just do it like so so it spins on its own basically All right, and then what you want to do, it's, it's easier if you have two people, basically pull some, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, don't forget your, for, forget your washer now. So now what you want to do is basically pull out the, the cable and tighten the, or like pull out the, um, I don't really see it. Like so. It's hard, hard to describe and find the right words when you're like when you you're, when your brain is working so hard to figure out how to do it. <laughs> so basically, do it as you took it off, right? And now we have again the the two eleven sixteenth uh, keys there again. Make it tight. Hand tight is good because it won't go anywhere. And that's that, guys. Voila! We have a new Gorilla lift set up. Okay, now we have the magic moment. If this, I think we did have a little bit more slack from the original Gorilla lift cable. It's barely any slack, if at all. So it's pretty tight already. Um, so what now goes is uh, we're going to drop the gate and see how much tension there is and maybe we have to adjust the um, hang on, hang on, easy, 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 easy. <laughs> so maybe we have to adjust uh, this setup here with a pin into the gate um, but let's see. Okay.
Definitely better than without gorilla lift. It's, uh, I think it's all right if it's too tight, if that cable is too tight, the, uh, the, the gate will pop up at the, at the end here and uh, basically be too high for your mower or like your equipment to drive over. So if the cable is too tight, the gate would sit like this. Right, because there's too much tension on the cable. So if that's the case, you need to um, lower the bolt here so to give some slack. But in this case, it's all good. It stays on the ground, like so. And now, basically, it's very easy to lift up, like so. I don't want to have too much tension on that, so... Um, um, it would make it easier to, to lift up, but again, if you have too much tension, the, the gate will basically rise up again without any pressure from the top, which will make it difficult to drive on your equipment again because the gate is basically off the floor, off the ground. So I will call this a success. So this is basically what we showed is a change over from the original Gorilla Lift cable because they were worn down they were frayed in this section here because of the tension and abuse over the years and also a new you as you can it. see there like like so this is pretty bad basically dangerous and we also showed you um to uh, put a new roller kit on here because the lower one gets the most uh, tension and abuse in that uh, groove section right there. So we reused the original one on the top and replaced the one on the bottom with the metal one. So just like that guys, that's how you replace the original Gorilla Lift uh, cable if it's gone bad. Uh, we actually cheated, now I can tell you. We cheated and figured it out on the other side first. So we have a fluent video and um, demonstration on the other one. So I know it's stumbling uh, along with us. Because um, we don't want to waste your time. I know it would have been funny for us to, for, for you to watch the other side. Because we were like struggling. <laughs> Seriously. Anyway, so this is that. You need a few extra tools obviously. Uh, like a bolt cutter, you need a little uh, uh, either like a, a, a wooden stick or something stable to basically push your uh, um, spring assembly back to the front there. As you saw, it's like we use this little metal rod there to basically push the um, spring assembly all the way up there. Or you can use a stick obviously, but because you need to secure it there and just basically uh, guiding it with the cable from this side the cable doesn't have enough resistance to basically push the um, spring assembly all the way over all right and a few extra tools like a little screwdriver and of course um, the wrenches they will be beneficial too again 11 16 for those guys here and as always guys be safe out there don't hurt yourself although this was an easy job and it's still easy to hurt yourself with a screwdriver poking your skin I hope this was helpful again Rudy here with your reactivist if you have any comments questions comments below hey don't forget to like comment and subscribe obviously because we want to grow want to share some more content rudy with your reactivist over and out with my nephew here from germany yes <laughs> and we'll see you in the yard